Hey, Oliver fans, welcome to part two of the 2022 edition of Oliver's Amazing Road Trip Adventure. So today we are sadly saying goodbye to our cozy little cabin here at the Koa Campground just outside of Glacier National Park. And today we are going to Canada. Oliver, we're going back to Canada. Yeah, you're going to see my parents again. So we were in Canada last summer and um, yeah, we're actually going to a place we went to last summer as well, which is Banff National Park. But this time, instead of approaching it from the west, from Vancouver, we're approaching it from the south. And tonight we're gonna be spending the night at Emerald Lake Lodge. And then we're gonna be heading from there to Kelowna, which we've also not visited before with Oliver. And from Kelowna, we're going to British Columbia. Uh, we're going to Vancouver, sorry, <laughs> Vancouver, BC to see my parents. So Oliver, are you excited about this? Yeah, come on, let's go have some adventures. Come on, let's go. We are at the border, Oliver fans, the Canadian United States boundary. We are in Bruceville, Montana. We're about to cross into Canada. This is Oliver's second time visiting Canada. The first time was last summer. And uh, if you didn't know already, I was actually born and raised in Canada. I'm a dual Canadian US citizen. And yeah, I'm very excited to be going back to my home country. Oliver, you excited? We're going to Canada. Yeah, we're next in line. Look, we're next. What does it smell like in Canada, Oliver? It smell like poutine, maple syrup, maple trees. something a little bit scary so right after we crossed the border into Canada maybe I don't know four or five miles into Canada uh, I guess four or five kilometers we should say into Canada uh, we nearly hit a deer I was just driving normally uh, I was looking straight ahead I moved my hands on the wheel the deer came running from my left side uh, nearly collided with us it came about halfway across the road and then I yelled and I veered to the right and I think I hope the deer veered away as well so we didn't I know we didn't climb that was scary and I'm glad that uh, we both took evasive action me and the deer and there was no collision I wasn't even paying attention because I was looking at my phone all I heard was a big yell yeah I yelled, big yell I yelled and a deer I and Oliver was very startled he yeah, jumped up Oliver jumped up rose his nap and looked out the window as to what was going on only now is he just settling back down. Like it was definitely very uncomfortable. Yeah, my heart is still beating a little bit fast too, but I'm starting to settle down too. We did not hit the deer. Everything went like it should. I had both hands on the wheel. I swerved a little bit to get out of the way. Probably I didn't need to yell quite as loudly as I did because I scared Wayne and Oliver. But yeah, just a close call. A close call with the deer. Canadian deer. We'll, we'll be careful. Welcome to Canada. Be careful, Kevin. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Oliver is super excited because we are here at A and W restaurant. Sure. About to place our order. What do you want, Oliver? He knows it's coming. He wants to make it very clear that he's interested. But he's willing to wait a little bit. Is that right, Oliver? Just to wait, Oliver. Just have to wait a little bit longer. Thank you for joining us in the front seat. You don't usually do that. Oh, here it is, Oliver. Food's arrived. Here's our lunch. Yep. Just have to wait until we pull over. And that'd be chicken strip. Okay, so we have now left the little town of Inverreer where we had lunch and we are heading into Kootenai National Park. Oliver, are you excited? Look at this. Look at these huge cliffs. What do you think? And from here we'll be going up and over the mountains and we will be ending the day today at Emerald Lake where we'll be staying at Emerald Lake Lodge.
All right, so we are now at Marble Canyon in Kootenai National Park. And one of the great things about Canada's national parks is that dogs are allowed on the trails. So Oliver could go on this really cool little path with us to this amazing canyon. And we are getting a little bit of rain right now, but it doesn't matter. We're having a lot of fun here. And this canyon is made um, from glacier fed water. And that's why it has this sort of greenish color to it because of all the minerals coming down from the glaciers. So Oliver, you want to go for another walk? Let's keep walking. The sun is starting to set and we are heading towards Emerald Lake where we'll be spending the night. Oliver, you ready for some dinner? Alright, so we have just arrived at Emerald Lake where we're spending the night. I mean, you can't get much more beautiful than this here. The lake is this amazing green color. The mountains are lit by the evening sun. It's really spectacular. So Oliver, let's go check out our room. Okay. Hey, we have our own balcony, Oliver. Yeah, I'm gonna see the balcony. Yeah, we can sit out here looking out over the lake. It's pretty nice. Yeah, Oliver's like, what about the rest of those bison bites? We have our own fireplace. Does it actually work? It looks like it actually works. Oliver, we can have a roaring fire later. Yeah, we can toast some marshmallows. Here's our food. How do you feel about that, Oliver? The food's gone. I don't have it anymore. Oh, lots of good smells here. Okay, we're coming in. All right, so Oliver's getting a little, a little bacon and egg for breakfast. Oliver, there you go. Hey, all of our fans. So we are now sadly saying goodbye to beautiful Emerald Lake. And we are heading today to Kelowna, British Columbia, which Oliver has never seen before. And on the way there, we'll be stopping at a couple of amazing natural wonders. One of them is Takaka Falls. We missed that last year somehow. It's a little bit off the beaten pack. Beaten track, not pack. I guess I'm thinking of dogs right now, huh, Oliver? And um, yeah, so... It's supposed to be especially nice at this time of year, Takaka Falls, uh, especially uh, like voluminous. There's a lot of snow melt coming off the glacier in August, which makes for a really powerful waterfall. And from there, we'll be heading to Peto Lake, which is this amazing lake in the Canadian Rockies that is shaped like a dog. So Oliver, we're gonna see a lake that's shaped like a dog. What do you think?
So I think this may be the biggest waterfall that Oliver's ever seen and we are so close to it now that we're actually getting wet and Oliver really doesn't like getting wet so I don't know what he's going to think of this waterfall. Come on Oliver, we can get a little bit closer. And we are so close to the waterfall now that we are definitely getting wet and Oliver's wondering, hey, what's going on? Is it raining? But it's sunny right now and there's no clouds. Oliver, you think this is funny? Look, it's all coming from that waterfall. Come on, let's go check it out. So we've said goodbye to the beautiful Takaka Falls and now we are heading to Pato Lake. All right, Oliver. So we are at Pato Lake, which is the lake that is shaped like a dog. So we really want to check that out. So come on over, let's go. Let's go check it out. This chimp dog is not afraid of Oliver. Oh my goodness. It's a standoff. Okay. <laughs> Oliver wins. Okay, so we just left Pato Lake and now we're gonna go get some lunch. Okay, Oliver, I think you need to get down. Come on. Down. I thought this was possible, but Oliver is not eating his beef because he is fixated on that chipmunk over there. It's actually a Colombian gopher, I think someone was telling us. He has not moved at all. Three whole minutes. He's staring. He's just been staring at it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> So that was a pretty close call for that ground squirrel. And now we're heading to Kelowna where we're gonna spend the night. bed here. Beautiful big window. And what do you think of the bed? It's huge. Yep. Yeah. Want to check on the sofa? Okay. Give me a little sniff. Oh yeah? Okay. I would say that all of our proofs. And of course he wants to get on the bed as usual. 
All right. You can see right out the window from the bed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Oliver does love rolling on oh. the bed sheets. But this is a pet friendly room, and we did pay an extra pet fee, so oh. I think he's allowed on the bed. What? All right, it looks like I have two beagles. Oh, Oliver, you were sitting so nicely. I was going to make a joke about how you and Wayne were sitting the same way. Oh, well, it looks like I have two beagles ready to go. We're going to go to the Kelowna Dog Beach. Want to check it out, Oliver? All right, let's go, Oliver. Fun. <laughs> Hey Oliver fans, so we are now in Kelowna right on the shores of Lake Okanagan which is famous for its supposed mythical sea creature Ogopogo and I remember learning about Ogopogo when I was in elementary school. Ogopogo has been sighted many times but never really confirmed to exist in this lake. I have to say there are so many watercraft on this lake you'd think that uh, if Ogopogo was not lake it would be run over by a jet ski by now. Oliver wants to get down because there's such nice uh, parkland here right along the waterfront and you can see that everyone I was out enjoying an amazing August weekend day. So, as you all know, Oliver is not really a water dog. This is about as close as he likes to get to the water's edge. And perhaps he senses that in this particular lake, there lurks. Oh, Oliver, you're getting very close now. There lurks a special being, a sea monster. Oliver, do you want to make friends with Ogopogo? You think Ogopogo's friendly? Do you sense it's out there, somewhere out in the deeps? He's like, I don't smell any sea monsters. I think we're safe here. Yes, we got some breakfast, Oliver. We got our hotel breakfast. You wanna give it a try? All right, Oliver, here's some breakfast. Okay, Oliver, time to go. We're going to Vancouver. Come on. Yes, let's go. Let's go. All right, so the area around Kelowna is really well known for its orchards and wineries, and we decided to make a quick stop right here at an orchard. So all over this orchard has plums, cherries, and peach trees, and best of all, it is dog friendly. So come on, Oliver, let's go check it out.
Oliver's gonna end up quite peach scented once he's done rolling you know, all these peaches that have fallen off the trees. So these peach trees are pretty low to the ground. I actually have to crouch a little bit because I'm a little bit taller than Oliver, but it's perfect for Oliver. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is it too hot for you, Oliver? Yeah, it's a little bit hot today. Okay, Oliver, Oliver, are you ready? It's your ice cream cone. Here you go. All right. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, Oliver's getting to eat his ice cream first. He's got a vanilla cone here in the orchard. Oh, he's just gonna <laughs> get his molars right on it to grab as much of the ice cream as he can. Oh, now he's already down to the cone level. Oliver, that was very quick. He knows how to eat an ice cream cone. He's had ice cream cones before. Uh, but this is the first time, Oliver, you've had an ice cream cone in Kelowna, British Columbia in an orchard. It's pretty special. That was so good. So good, Oliver. And there's only a tiny little bit of ice cream left, Oliver, but there's some cone if you want it. Yeah, it's a rather hot day today. I think it's like 85 degrees Fahrenheit, so ice cream just tastes especially good on a summer day like today. There you go. Oliver, you had your cone. Oh, oh, dropping it everywhere. Okay, I'll leave that there for you. Now I'm gonna try my ice cream. Oh, cherry ice cream. Oliver's like, well, can I have some cherry ice cream? Well, maybe a little. <laughs> okay, Oliver, you can have a little bit of cherry ice cream. I think it's okay for dogs to eat cherry ice cream. There you go. You wanna try it? You're not sure? It's a little bit different from vanilla. You like it? Oh, he likes it, definitely. All right, so yeah, Oliver. We had a wonderful time here at, an orch at the orchard, and we're gonna go buy a little bit of fruit, and then we're gonna drive to Vancouver. Yeah. Okay, so we finally made it to Vancouver to the house that I grew up in and Oliver has been here before. So uh, he might recognize it. Let's see if he recognizes any of it. So Oliver, come on, let's go inside. Let's go see my mom and dad, your grandparents. Yeah, come on, let's go. And this time it's not just my parents who are here, but also my brother and sister-in-law and niece. So it's a big family reunion. Oliver, come on, let's ring the doorbell and say hello. <laughs> I'm really excited to see if he remembers. Hey, hello! Hello, Hi. Oliver. Hello. 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 Come on so in. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Hi. I can't wait to see you. Nice to see you too. Yeah. Yes. Hi. Hey, Hi. Hi. Where did Where did um... Oliver go? <laughs> Oliver's running around. Yeah. All right. Uh, so last time he explored the whole house, and this time he is definitely going straight to the kitchen with all the good food smells. And just like before, um, he knows that this is the place to be to get food. So maybe he doesn't need to explore the rest of the house this time because he remembers that the kitchen is where all the food is. Oh yeah, you want to go upstairs? Let's go upstairs. Okay. All right. Do you remember the upstairs too? Oliver. Yes. You're meeting your cousin for the first time. Oh, look. Oh, she has a bear for nice. you. Oh, a present. Oliver, your cousin just gave you a present. Did you say thank you? Oh, he's like, that's mine. It's mine. It's great. That's awesome. You're not going to... He's not going to give it up now. Oh, oh, uh -oh. oh, Oliver. No, he's not going to destroy it. He will he's destroy it eventually, it. but he likes to play with it. Oh, okay. Um, and then he'll um, settle down with it later to destroy it, so we well, probably Well, by that shouldn't... time, then. Yeah, we shouldn't. Hi, Oliver. <laughs>
Yeah, we're going downstairs. All right, let's go downstairs. Oliver, we are picking some beans for dinner. Yes, we are. And okay. Oliver is helping. Yes, we're picking beans and Oliver is eating grass. He's de-weeding. He's de-weeding. Yes, we have to get more beans for dinner. Come on. All right. See, we've got some here. All right. Oh, you found another one. Yeah, that's perfect.